If you had picked up my phone in August of 2000, you would have heard a woman call me and say, Craig, we're from the Michigan Consolidated Gas Company, and we want you to come out and do a keynote speech, and we're going to pay you $3,500 for 45 minutes. U.S. So <laughs> I'm thinking, this is my first big keynote. I can't wait. Oh, my gosh. I was very excited, but what else do you think I was? Nervous. Nervous. And to make things worse, they flew me out first class. Wow. Picked me up in a stretched limo. Wow. Took me over to a restaurant and wined and dined me. Wow. Then took me over to a five-star hotel. Wow. Picked me up the next morning in that stretched limo. Wow. Took me over to the event and tucked a $3,500 check into my pocket. Wow. And I got up there and I looked at the audience and I went out there and gave them a $150 speech. <laughs> Simply amazing. <laughs> $150. I failed miserably. I failed so bad that the woman who bragged about me and convinced all the higher ups to bring me in couldn't even look me in the eyes when I was finished. Even the limo driver was looking at me like, I still have to take you back? <laughs> and that was the year 2000. I've never spoken to them again. I'm sure I'm on their wall of shame. Fast forward seven years. Here I am, 2007. Not to brag, but to tell you why something made the difference. Today, my rehire rate is 92%. You know what that means? That means if you hire me, chances are very high you're going to hire me again. 92%. How do I go from the year 2000 of being on somebody's wall of shame and them never wanting to see me again to seven years later having companies create programs just so I'll come in and speak? What's the difference in those seven years? Change? Absolutely. What else do you think? I rededicated myself to the art of public speaking after winning the world championship. And in that process, I learned all these tools that made the difference. And in all those tools, I finally was able to bottle them up and put them all into one program. 